Hello everyone, uh, this is Mark. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. Uh, it has been a few days uh, since I've posted a video. Just uh, life in general, as you know, uh, gets a little hectic, gets a little busy. And you know, I have uh, uh, a couple young daughters and um, you know, with homework and just, just life is, is busy in general. So um, I did have a little bit of time. Um, I do have my granddaughter today and she is um, a little bit of ways for me. She is sound asleep. So I figured I'd jump on real quick and do a viewer request or subscriber request. Uh, John, uh, if you're watching this, uh, um, video is for you. You did request this a little bit ago. Uh, he had wanted me to review, um, Elvis's debut album, which is simply titled Elvis Presley. Um, so, uh, this album was recorded in, uh, January of 1956, uh, January 10th and 11th, and then, uh, I want to say like the 24th and 25th of January. You can check on that. I'm not sure. I know the, the 10th and 11th of January is correct, but I can't remember exactly what the next two dates were. Um, but I believe they were like the, the last, uh, week or so in January. And then a couple of tracks were recorded in 1955 at Sun Studio. So, um... So yeah, so this is the only version of this album that I have, uh, surprisingly enough, because uh, I do uh, own quite a bit of vinyl, but um, this is the Friday Music uh, edition. Of course, it has the uh, gatefold with the Heartbreak Hotel um, 45 cover and then some information about that. There's the back of it. Um, so this album, actually, I was reading on this uh, to kind of familiarize myself. I was listening to it because I always like to listen to these um, again, uh, when I do the review to kind of get me in the spirit of the review, so to speak. Um, but this album actually spent 10 weeks on the Billboard charts at number one. It was the very first rock and roll record to go to number one, which I did not know that. As much as I know about Elvis and follow him, I did not know that little uh, bit of information. So um, I'm sure many of you have this version. I'm not going to take it completely out, but it is on the uh, 180 gram blue vinyl. Um, so, uh, that is, uh, that is really cool. Um, and it sounds fa fantastic. The Friday Music's, uh, releases, they sound really, really good. Um, so what songs are on here? So we have side one is Blue Suede Shoes. I'm counting on you. I got a woman, which is a classic and Elvis did that song a lot in concert, especially in the seventies. My favorite track on the album and one of my all time favorite Elvis songs, One Sided Love Affair. <laughs> Um, I love you because, and then side one wraps up with just because. Um, side two is Tutti Frutti, uh, Trying to Get to You, which is another one of my favorites. I want to sit right down and cry, which you would think that would be like a really depressing, sad song, but it's it's a pretty pretty cool tune. Um, I'll Never Let You Go. Uh, Blue Moon, which probably is my least favorite song on this album. It's kind of haunting almost, just just not one of my not one of my go to songs. And then the album wraps up with Money Honey. So if I didn't show this, there's the back. Of course, you can see the Friday music. Um, so this, the, uh, I have one of the Newberry comic releases. It's the Elvis and Stacks. And this also, I think, was released before that on um, split uh, purple and pink vinyl. Um, it was limited to 500 pressings. Um, you can't find it for under a hundred dollars. It runs between a hundred and I've seen it as high as $120, just a little bit more than what, what I want to pay. Not saying that I won't get it eventually, but who knows? Um, but I am being more selective with what I'm buying. Uh, just putting that out there simply because with the way the, uh, things are going with the economy and, uh, people in general are just tightening their belts. They're kind of watching what they spend. You know, there's more, uh, gas prices or way, way higher. Food prices have gotten really, really out of hand. So yeah, I noticed, in, I've noticed that in the last uh, month or so that I've been much more selective uh, with what I get. I'm really starting to focus more on what, things that I really, really want to have. Um, I, I do know uh, Record Store Day is going to be releasing uh, some vinyls. I think there's going to be a three LP set coming out. There hasn't been a release date given on that yet that I know of. But um yeah, so that's, uh, this wasn't going to be a very, very long video, but um, I, uh, I really enjoy this record. Uh, I don't play it a ton, but uh, I do enjoy it overall. Um, it's got a nice blend of you know, different things. Uh, you can tell Elvis was just kind of getting his footing vocally and um, 
by 1957, uh, I really thought, thought he was really gaining steam. And by nine, 1958, of course, I mentioned this before, King Creole is one of my favorite albums, one of my favorite soundtracks. I think he sounds phenomenal in it. But um, so, yeah, so uh, if you like the content, please uh, leave a comment. If you have a request, please leave that there. I try to get to these. Uh, I've had a few requests. I've covered just about all of them. But, uh, you know, yeah, feel free to leave a comment. Just say hello, uh, whatever. I jo really enjoy reading your comments. And I always do try to acknowledge them, uh, make a comment, but at least acknowledge just to let you know that I read it. If I do miss it, it's not intentional. It's just I try to go through and um, I'm getting more and more as my subscriber count grows. So if you do like this content, please uh, like and uh, subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, looking to uh, have some really cool videos come out so on, on some different topics. Um, hopefully have an interview that I'm trying to line up in the next week or so. Uh, there'll be more about that coming out. But um, yeah, uh, like I said, I wanted to keep this video kind of short. But um, I really appreciate all of you watching. And uh, I hope to talk to you all soon. Take care and have a great day.